This is inside the emergency department in Moorish County. The area which is connected is up to 180, 200 kilometers away, the hospitals that are connected, and they are all uh, neighboring counties where we can, with the helicopter, get to any of these sites by maximum 40 minutes, but most of them are attainable by less than 30 minutes, which means the regional hospital, if we see the patient is criti critical, we are avoiding the transfer of the patient to multiple hospitals until they arrive to us. We are deciding together with them, okay, we're coming to pick up this patient. The helicopter takes off. We keep in touch with them if we need. The helicopter lands within 20 minutes, 30 minutes, we pick up the patient and we leave with the patient back to the center. Things which are happening really yesterday, I was on a volunteer shift in our department in Moorish County. This is where I used to work before I came to the ministry and this is exactly what is happening at this moment. So the physician who is dealing with this may be the physician who is on duty on the helicopter or on the mobile intensive care unit or in the emergency department. We are not paying for an extra physician at this moment for this work. And they are being sufficient to deal with this work. This is the medical data we can get from the patient. So the system which I'm going to talk more about tomorrow, the, the system in Romania is becoming really a fully integrated system involving several levels of care, starting from the paramedics to the general practitioner, up to the highest level, which is the regional hospitals, the regional emergency departments, and so on. So I think that the new technology, which is allowing us to connect these sites via telemedicine and connect the pre-hospital to the hospital with the telemedicine, will allow us to do a lot of things in the future. One of them, for example, for example is that we are, uh, we are starting now an acute myocardial infarction program, which will be funded directly by the state for uh, what we call STEMI, which is elevated ECG myocardial infarction, we would be putting the diagnosis via the telemedicine, for example, and we would be sending the patient, if there is a nearby center for cath lab, the patient will be sent directly to that center. So to shorten the time, the patients may come and then be retransferred and so on. Of course, this is a huge issue which needs such technology to be involved. Uh, without this technology, this technology allows us to use people with less, let's say, not very deep training in medical science. They know what to do, but they don't have all the deep medical science because we, the deep medical science, we can have it at that level. And this means that we are shortening the time of training and shortening and lessening the costs of the people we are training in our emergency system. So in conclusion, I think that Telemedicine is opening new horizons in medical care, including emergency medicine. What I have seen until now was used mostly in chronic diseases and in primary care and so on. Now we are seeing this in really acute life-saving medicine used in real time. The second thing is it is not a luxury. The costs are not very high. Also, the inter-hospital telemedicine system was installed using the governmental service for communications and they are the ones who maintain it for us. So the costs for it are very low. Each site is costing us less than 80, 60 euros a month to keep the system running, which is not very much and this can be paid by the hospital itself. And it is of course an economical and cost efficient solution finally for the health system, especially in a system where in many of our hospitals we lack certain specialties. A lot of these hospitals don't have emergency physicians, they don't have anesthesiologists to take care of critical patients. Sometimes you may have the surgeon on duty, but the case may be a myocardial infarction. The second day you may have in the small hospital the cardiologist on duty and he may face a trauma case. So having this backup from a regional center is very important for them. So I think that this is the presentation I wanted to do about what we are really doing now and how we are using this uh, technology. And part of this system, the inter-hospital system, the, the inter-hospital data transmission and the ECG and so on was developed in fact in Romania by a Romanian company. Whilst the video system, the teleconferencing system was imported from outside. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for this very good presentation and moreover I would like to express really